Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a can of original craft lager by the Magnata Brewery out of Vaughan, Ontario, coming in at 4.1% ABV. Second of six beers brought to me, bought for me, and brought for to me. Yeah, that works. By the uh, Magnata Brewery, by my good friend Justin, my co-worker actually. He was down there doing uh, something. I'm not even sure why he was down south that day, but he thought of me, and this is the result. Let's crack her open, and let's see what we've got. Thinking, you know, a nice light lager after that liquid poo that was had yesterday. Might be a bit of a nice change. A uh, picture. Little tiny bit of haze in there. Plus chill haze. Like, it's it's basically clear. It's basically. <sighs> Smells like a lugger. Like, kind of generic beer smell going on. Like, could be a bud or a Canadian. Let's give her a shot. Completely acceptable. Nice, smooth, bit of malty, kind of bready. Yeah, that is what it is. Let's do this. A cheers, everybody, and a cheers, Justin. Thanks a bunch. I don't think I'd, I'd ever really say this, but this lager is at least a hundred times better than that IPA I had yesterday. Mm. Ah, sad, sad French IPAs. Ooh. Although, come to think of it, there's a bottle right over there. Yakima IPA by Le Castor Brewery Microbrasserie in Quebec. I'm not sure, but there might be another beer that Marcel brought me that was worthy of living up there, although I don't see any. I don't think so. That might be it. I don't know if I've had an IPA by Du de Ciela. I think I bought a six pack of Du de Ciel IPA and went to crack them open and realized it was like a year old, brought it back to the LCBO here in North Bay and they literally pulled it off the shelves and gave me a refund, so that was nice. Because yeah, like, I'm usually pretty good these days with checking the dates, but when I go into a new place and I just see all these new beer, I, I just, I get overwhelmed when I'm like a kid in the candy store. Expiry dates are suddenly not even a thing in my head anymore. It's like, nah, new beer, new beer, new beer, new beer, new beer. Get home. Shit beer, shit beer, shit beer, shit beer, shit beer. Yeah. I'm a genius. But that's what it is. Um, Magnata.com. Pretty sure it's .com. Could be .ca. Pretty sure it's .com, though. It's .com. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Does this beer have a little story for me to read? It does. I love that. Since 1996, our family has been marrying the art and science of brewing. We're delighted that you can share in our tradition and that we can guide you on a journey of taste, discovery, and craft beer. Pretty sure that was on, like, the outside of the six-pack holder or something that I got. Or maybe on the drooling dog, double drooling dog, black IPA. Our original craft lager has a crisp clean taste with hints of spice and citrus. Water, barley, hops, and yeast. That's not impressive, really. 25th of January of this year is when this was brewed. It's a lager, so the, it's going to kind of last. 
Usually when a logger starts to go, it'll become kind of snow globy from what I've seen, but this still looks fine. I'm surprised at the brewery that they're selling beer that old. Usually the brewery itself tends to be on top of stuff like that and try to give the people that make the trek to the brewery the freshest beer they can get. Unless it's something that's supposed to be aged. No. Maybe they aged their lager for six months before they actually released it. Maybe it was canned in January, put on the shelves in June. I know numbers. Yeah. Kinda, sometimes. I has my moments. I've actually got a few loggers in the fridge to get through. I think, I don't know, like, like I said, like right now, this is a nice refreshing change from that bleh, that was had yesterday. But overall, loggers have just kind of, I've, my palate has kind of outgrown boring beers for the most part. Like there's still some like that Stonehouse Pilsner and some dark loggers and stuff that you got, I'm, yeah, I'm all over those. But for the most part, I'm a big fan of the Hoppy Bombies and the Stouty Wouties. I did just say both those things. Mm-hmm. I like... I have another lager by these guys, surprisingly. Their Polar Day? I think it's called Polar Day Lager, which is funny because Polar Day was the name of that really, really, really good Session IPA that I had from Compass Brewing. Is it Polar Day? I can check on that by just going back one page on this one. Aha. No, it's just Polar Lager. Okay. It's not Polar Day. 242 ratings overall on Untapped for this beer. 3.18 out of 5 overall. Beer Advocate gives it 3.34 out of 5 with 2 ratings. And Rate Beer has also a gigantic 2 ratings. 2.76 out of 5. So this is really kind of middle of the road for most people. Although I don't... I don't think I've ever seen a logger that's been above like three and a half or something, you know, like there's not really much you can do with a logger to make it, in my opinion, to make like for me to give a logger a 10. I don't know. Like it just, it's not really overall my style anymore. Like I said a few times now. Oh, that's nice. 14 minutes recording time. A bunch of crap happened at the beginning, so I'm not really sure what's uh, going on there. There was something I just want to look at. And my brain fell out of my head. I'm not getting, like, the spicy or citrus that they talk about. So... If they used a bit of hop presence to get that citrus, then from January to now I could see that having jumped to its death from a, I don't know, 30, 40th floor apartment, the balcony, you know? Yeah! It's the sound people make when they commit suicide. It's exactly that sound. There's like a Wilhelm scream, and then there's like a suicide scream. Yeah, I'm making shit up off the top of my head. Welcome to my channel, where things don't make sense quite often. I hate this. Did you, you see it, right? The random, like, my beard wants to be two beards all the time. I'm constantly doing this. It's so goddamn annoying. I could do this too. Well, no, I'm not going to do it right now. Can I put a ring thing in it? I got the ideal from watching... I rewatched the Harry Potter series recently, actually, in Dumbledore. Not the original guy, but Michael Gambon. 
He wears like a little ring thing in his beard. And I randomly tried it. I was driving down the road in the work vehicle a few days ago with the window down because it was a nice day. And my beard was like bleh, all over the place. So I grabbed actually, what was it? A, a garden hose washer. Just a little piece of rubber. And it made it so my beard didn't fly around in the wind anymore. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. What's not cool is now we're about to hit 16 and a half minutes. That's freaking insane. Um, that the drink number final last. You know what I was. Magnata Brewing, original craft lager, rating seven and a half. Good stuff. Nothing amazing. Try some if you can find it. If you like lager, if you like it. Whatever. That's gonna do it. Today's daily vlog. Thanks a lot. If you liked it. Like it. If you want to see more? Subscribe. Got some say? Comments. Peace out. Yeah, that's right. Fast outro. <laughs>